All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Dubai Championships, and it's the women's final. All right, starting with the draw, you've got uh, Ostapenko demolished Halep in the final set there. It was a very impressive performance. Uh, she caught fire very late on and just in time as well because she was about to go out in straight sets and she caught fire and ended up winning the match 6-love in the final set and could have been over. Didn't even hit a ball in her semi-final. She got a walkover because Von Drusova, the qualifier, pulled out with an injury. So Kudamatova is going to be feeling fresh. Ostapenko, I mean, she was complaining yesterday about some, uh, some fitness problems. So we'll, we'll see. Let's talk about Veronica Kudamatova. She's 31 in the world. She's 24 years old from Russia. She's 5'8", right-handed. Five wins, three losses on the year, including a final in Melbourne earlier this year. And no titles to her name. Uh, no, sorry, no titles this year. Uh, she won a title last year, so that's... Uh, I think she's got one single title to her name. And her best wins of the year are against Brengel and Ruse. Ostapenko, 21 in the world. She is... Uh, 24 years old from Latvia, 5 foot 10 right-handed, five wins, three losses as well. No titles this year, and uh, four to her name, including a French Open. And her best wins are against Risk and Sasnovich, but those will change because this week they've both beaten multiple champions. Now, let's have a chat about the uh, the run uh, for both these ladies because we all know about Ostapenko. She's had a great run to get to the final. She's beaten champion after champion after champion after champion. She's beaten Kennan, Sviantek, Kvitova, Halep. Now, her last three matches, she's had to come back from a set down. Is that going to affect her fitness? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. But Kudamatova, she had Azarenka in the first round. Beat her in straight sets. Beat Muguruza in four se uh, sorry, three sets uh, in the second round. Teichman in three in the third, in the uh, quarterfinals. And then the semifinals, she didn't play. So she's beaten her at fair uh, share of champions as well along the way in this one. So it's going to be fun. I think Kudamatova, the longer this match goes, the better for her. But it seems like every time we've watched Ostapenko this week, we watched her, this is the third time this week we've watched her, she has a moment in the match where she flicks the switch and things go crazy. So uh, is that going to be at the start of the match or is it going to be the end of the match or is it going to be in the middle of the match? That... Storm is coming. The Ostapenko Hurricane Ostapenko is uh, is always going to be there. There's it seems like there's always a moment where she'll come out and just turn it on for a set. Now against Halep it was the final set. Against Fiontek it was the second set. Um, against Kvitova I think it was towards the end of the match where she uh, she turns it up. Can Kudamatova weather that storm? That will be the question because if she can weather the storm. Take Ostapenko into a third set. Maybe that's where she'll get the win because Ostapenko will run out of gas. Uh, Ostapenko's played a hell of a lot of time on court and she was complaining yesterday that she didn't have the energy to hit powerful shots. But we'll find out. We'll find out together. That's the best thing about this game, especially WTA tennis. It's so random. Anyone could win. And there's a multiple bunch of reasons why they could win. So we're going to watch it together and we're going to see. I like My sleep schedule this week has been wrecked uh, for a bunch of reasons. Mainly because I'm not used to it uh, <laughs> yet, so I haven't. My body's like, where? What are we doing? Why are we? Why are we staying up until two in the morning? And why are we not sleeping during the day? And blah blah blah. But also, it's because I got a puppy, and my my dog, my puppy, uh, needs attention. So I can't sleep all day like I used to be able to uh, yet. So I, I've been. This week's just thrown me off. So no, I won't be able to do an all nighter tonight. Um, also, I've got like a, I think I got like to do something tomorrow. I have some like house warming I have to go to. So I'll just be like, I'm just going to be like hyped up on caffeine because I'm going to be <laughs> a walking zombie. So, um, yeah, I, I, we're not watching that. Unfortunately, it's one of those days where there's three really good matches on. They're all happening at the same time. But luckily for us, I guess City Pass and FAA didn't play out, so we don't we miss we don't have to miss out on that one. But uh, yeah, Berrettini Alcaraz, I would have loved to watch that. But look, if I do an all nighter and then my dog keeps me up all day, I will die from lack of sleep. Um, 
And then I will really be uh, dead from sleep. Not sleeping. But next week, we got a big week. So that's what I want to kind of... We've been doing a little bit of all-nighters this week, but I want to train my... Uh, like I've been kind of like training, getting back into it. And then next week... Uh, We've got Djokovic, Nadal. I mean, all the all the big boys playing next week. I uh, hope Ostapenko wins. Otherwise, I will be upset. Well, look, uh, anything is possible, and I'm going to say I, I think I I think I bet against Ostapenko every day this week. So I don't want to bet for her today because I feel like a lot of people are going to be upset if I go for uh, Ostapenko and she wins. So I'm going to stick to my current uh, my current form and say, no, I think it's going to be Kudamatova is going to win this one in three sets. I mean, she's going to cause the upset. And Ostapenko fans will be happy because I won't jinx them. So it's a win-win. Um, the Penko power moments will be in the first two sets. If you will beat... FAA later. Well, that'll come on hopefully in the next uh, hour or so, so we can keep an eye on that one. Players are about to come out on court, by the way. Uh, yep, hello. I can see you in the chat that wrote hello 500 times. Thank you for uh, spamming the chat. Hello. <laughs> um, I bet on Kitchmanovic. He's about to come on court. So we've got Schwartzman, Anduha, uh, Kichmenovic, Serendolo coming on as well. So that's happening. Uh, Coria Fanini's coming on very soon as well. So plenty of tennis still going on. Rio was raining for like three days. So all those matches have kind of been pushed. Uh, told you Safulan would win. Yeah, look, there were some people in the chat yesterday who were like, Safulan's going to win. And I'm like, I, I don't see it. But I heard, and I didn't watch the match because I was asleep, but I heard that maybe it was a combination of uh, Sifuelen playing well, but City Pass played terrible, apparently. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final Marseille. Ostapenko gets the win. Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn.